Unusual Praise, the largest Catholic concert in Africa, organized by the Catholic Church of Divine Mercy in Lekki, is set to hold in Lagos on Friday, December 10th. The music concert, which brings together Catholics and other Christians under one banner through gospel ministrations, praise and worship, has been evangelizing the Christian faithful for over 10 years. Joining us now to tell us more about the concert and its impact on participants is George Agu, Chairman of Unusual Praise 2021. Welcome, Mr. Agu, and good morning. Thank you very much. Good morning. Well, uh, thank you for joining us. Unusual praise. I like that. Uh, but a number of concerns. It's December, and I know that, you know, a lot of celebrations and all of that. Praise worship. But this is happening in the season of uh, COVID-19 Omicron variant. The Lagos Very State good. government has just ruled out a number of guidelines. If you want to uh, attend any crowded event, you must have your COVID passport. The organizers themselves should get uh, a, an approval from the Lagos State Safety uh, uh, Commission. The event itself must be COVID compliant. The event is tomorrow. And uh, you know the way religion is. I imagine that there will be great attendance. Have you tried to observe the protocols, the guidelines put in place uh, by the Lagos State Government? The second one, which I'm concerned about, you know, each time we have some of these major, you know, evangelical events in December, the rest of Lagos suffers. So what arrangements have you put in place to ensure that Persons who are not Catholics, persons who don't want to come and do unusual praise, will not suffer tomorrow in Lagos because of the traffic that may be generated. These two public uh, interest issues. Yeah, so first and foremost, I would like to thank you for the privilege of being here to speak about unusual praise. And as you said, it's the biggest Catholic uh, event and uh, it's an all night program has been running for about 10 years, and we are featuring the best gospel ministers in Nigeria, from the likes of Natan Ebasi to Sinach, Judunam, and the rest of them. It's going to be happening tomorrow, just barely 24 hours away. So you have asked a very important question that borders on responsibility, if you ask me. And we are doing everything necessary. As a matter of fact, even before the Lagos State Government issued that directive, about compliance, we had planned for the worst. So um, starting from about a month ago when we started considering so many um, things that may play out, this event was meant to be at TBS. Um, we had to move it because we are looking for a venue that should be able to contain, that has the capacity of at least 10 times the expected audience. So today we are going to be having it in a venue that is totally off where traffic could be a problem, that is Praise Land, near Periwinkle Estate by the end of Freedom Way in Lakey Phase 1. And not only that, we have a medical team that's put in place several measures that guarantees that those who are coming will be provided with the necessary precautionary guidelines and measures that ensures they're not exposed to a COVID Omicron uh, pandemic. So we are very much aware of that. So we are also telling all our audience to ensure that they come with their face mask. There's going to be sanitizers. We're going to have face masks at the venue. And we're going to be um, 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 confirming with the social distancing rules as set up by Lagos State Government. So that is on one side. And the other side, uh, talking about traffic, where we are doing this program is being designed in such a way that it does not interfere at all with where people live. So we, Catholic, Catholic, the Catholic uh, Church is a very responsible institution, and we have kind of distanced ourselves from where people live um, very much. Of, I mean, we have a, a, a parish, and we have huge space within the parish, but we have chosen to go a distance further into places where people don't live, which is an estate that's about to develop. It has a capacity of at least 100,000 persons, so, and we're expecting less than 10,000 persons to, to be there. So I would say that with these two things, we have taken care of some of the concerns that are very germane. That's good to know. What are the objectives of this yearly event? Thank you very much. So there are two fundamental objectives, and uh, some people have called it concert. This is, yes, a concert is uh, by way of the fact, by virtue of the fact that 
there's going to be music and entertainment and all that, but it's actually an evangelization program. So there are two fundamental aspects of this program. One is the go, um, as instructed by Lord Jesus Christ, to go and make disciples of all nations. So the ministration is ministering to the souls and awakening people and helping people to recover from a lot of discouragement. And, you know, that's happened following COVID pandemic and all that. The second also is the economic empowerment program, which is achieved through what we call angel entrepreneurs. Uh, tomorrow night, we're going to be empowering at least 150 people. Some are going to get from 1 million to 750K and, and, and so on and so forth. And this is being achieved by some of our very generous sponsors. So these are the two things that Angel Press is set out to achieve. So uh, th this is the second one this year, because I saw there was one in the East. I mean, can you tell me about how it goes, how the planning and preparation and everything happens? Right, so the, the first unusual praise which we had about two weeks ago uh, in our nature on the 26th of November was uh, uh, meant to start last year, but because of COVID and some other concerns, we had to push it to this year. And as a matter of fact, that program was meant to happen on the 15th of October, but you know, killings and so many scary things that happened in the Southeast made us to stop it because at the end, the priority is saving life. And then we had to move it to late November um, we, we, we have a very well-structured approach to executing unusual praise. Um, so we planned it all out with our general sponsors, and it was actually something that we did with the collaboration and cooperation of the four dioceses in Anambra State, which is uh, the Onitsha Art Diocese, Okada, Oka Diocese, Ekulobia, and then Newu Diocese. And it was attended by over 10,000 persons. And I mean, for me, one of the things that I take away from there is that the Southeast is not as unsafe as people tend to think, because when we had this program, there was no issue at all. No, no person lost their mobile phone. That is how good it is. So to, today, tomorrow, we're going to be having the second one in, uh, in Lagos State, and we expect that it's going to be the same. OK, could you uh, avail us of uh, some of the details? Uh, attendance, is it free? Uh, the people who want to attend, do, have they been asked to pre-register? And then for how long will this program last? Is it an overnight uh, event? And will it be available virtually uh, for the benefit of persons who may not want to attend physically? What are the details in terms of the organization? Once again, thank you very much. Um, attendance is free. Registration is necessary. So we are thankful to our audience who have heard about this instruction around registration, and they've been to our website to register. And to, we are trying to register, because typically in this COVID era, we want to be able to trace any after the event uh, incidences. We, don't, we expect there will be none. But supposing there is, we want to be able to know what exactly happened. So we have a number of people who have registered in ex, and is counting in thousands right now. A lot more are coming to register. We have what we call registration challenge. So every time we have a hundred, we are giving the person who is the hundred person or two hundred person a free a time. Um, so as much as registration is free, we have also some kind of considerations for VIPs and VVIPs. Some arrangement has been made for them, and this also arrangement is also meant to take care of some of the, some of the elderly who may not want to sit in certain places that are not properly covered. I don't know if I've uh, answered your questions. Yeah, Substantially, I think. I yeah. see you have with you some merch. So is that also available, the Unusual Praise merchandise? Yeah, just, just so that there could be some uniformity in the way the audience uh, addressed. We have these shirts. Uh, the shirt is not free. The shirt is for sale. All right. So it goes for about 4000 We're encouraging those who want to... T-shirt, 4000 yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're encouraging those who want to attend to kindly pick up a shirt and come. Uh, you know how it feels when everyone is wearing white or dressed in the same color. It helps us to promote our brand as well. I think 4000 is something we can afford. It's about... Uh, See, 100% cotton. 100% cotton, correct, yes. And very convenient. Yeah. Okay, so I'd like to ask, uh, the one in the East and the one in Lagos is going to be a yearly event, right? Well, we... Or this we, is just a test of what we, 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 want to spread all over the country? <laughs> that is an interesting question. Um, 
it takes a whole lot to put these events together. And we want to bring back hope to people. We want to create a sense of security to people also. The one in the East is a maiden event. We are hoping that next year is going to happen again. We are also hoping that hopefully next year we can take it to other cities like Port Harcourt, Abuja, and some other places where um, our capacity can lead us to. Yes, so, but Lagos is guaranteed it's going to be an annual event. It's been annual running for 10 years. For 10 years we, can, we can't guarantee that the one in the East is going to be annual event, but it depends. Let's see how, how much... How about the one do. in Port Harcourt or probably Abuja? Yeah, certainly we're going to take it to these cities. Yes, that's, that's, it's a plan, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I mean, this has been um, advertised as a Catholic church initiative. And, you know, sometimes within a church, there will be, you know, all kinds of groups having their own events. Is this uh, something that is under the purview of the Catholic Bishops' Conference or, if you like, the Catholic Secretariat? What particular group? within the uh, Catholic Church is behind this. And what are the expected outcomes mm -hmm. to identify talents or to do what? Beyond evangelism, which I think is a basic uh, religious thing. Okay, let me make it very clear. This event is being organized by the Catholic Church of Divine Mercy, Lakey. It has the approval of the Lagos Diocese, and regardless of the denomination, everyone is invited. You know, um, people have been devastated by the COVID pandemic. So this is like a yin yang. Come and enjoy, yet we're saying, be careful the way you go about it. You know, so people are discouraged. People want to get into having, gaining, regaining their happiness once again. So above and beyond evangelizing, we also want people to come and celebrate Christ. Christmas is by the corner. So perhaps this is a, a very good way of really starting up the Christmas celebration, okay? so. Um, I've seen, we, we finished our event, you know, Nietzsche, and after the morning mass was said, people were seated. And we're telling them the event is over, you need to go. So that is how much devastated people have become. So we're saying people should come, come and celebrate. It's going to start from 6 p.m. in the evening, and it will run till 6 a.m. the next morning. So, and it's going to be fully, you know, fully packed by different kinds of entertainment, speaking about different things empowering people and giving them some seed funding backed by some mentoring program supported by um, some of our sponsors. Uh, indeed, I'm sure if you know what it entails, you will be forced to come yourself. Well, well thank you Are you guys so coming? Much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't go anywhere. Well, we'll, we'll note the invitation. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank, thank you so much for your time. All right, thank you.